with your local weather authority forecast. Another very warm day across the viewing area, but a little bit cooler compared to the past few days. A lot of luck to the tall city. Thanks to our roof spy, Nicholas Sky Tracker, we see a lot of sunshine, some very thin clouds, certainly not producing any rainfall. And when at times we have seen that camera shake because of the strong winds. And taking a look at that satellite and radar, we do notice that we had some storms in the southern and western half of our viewing area. Now, it is monsoon season, and that indicates that there is more moisture in the atmosphere and we have that southerly flow bringing in more moisture some of it from the gulf of mexico and other part of it is actually from baja california when combined those converging winds that's how we get storms we're seeing that right now in the davis mountains below severe limits and mostly in rural areas getting fairly close though to marfa limiting those temperatures in the 80s and 90s there also some rain showers in the big bend area again not even really even seeing that much in the way of any yellows or oranges in Brewster County, indicating it's mostly just rain and not a thunderstorm. Tracking, again, the big picture, we're seeing, again, mostly clear skies in the eastern half of the viewing area, but more humid conditions in the southern and western half of the viewing area between the fork, between I-20 and I-10. And that's going to be the big story over the next few days, storms firing off there, but in the eastern half of our viewing area, mostly clear skies. We did see some rain showers earlier, but the big story, basin-wide, is going to be the strong winds, and we did see that today. 33 mile per hour wind gusts in the tall city, 36 mile per hour wind gusts in Carlsbad. Winds gusting more than 30 to 40 miles per hour in many locations, warming things up because of the southerly and easterly flow. High temperature today, 98 degrees. Low temperature, 75 degrees. Already starting to drop. We're currently at 96 degrees, so we're still above the average high of 95 degrees in the tall city. Yesterday, we hit 100 degrees. Again, we're seeing seasonably very warm conditions, but a little bit cooler compared to what we saw yesterday in this past weekend, where we were more than 100 degrees in many locations, cooling off tonight primarily in the 60s and 70s. If you guys want to go out stargazing, I think it'll be a great night for that because we'll be seeing mostly clear skies and we did see the strawberry supermoon now it's a waning gibbous mostly clear skies humid conditions in the lower levels of the atmosphere but dry conditions in the upper levels those winds dying down a little bit from the south southeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour as opposed to 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds during the day today again we're seeing mostly clear skies tonight Mostly sunny skies in the eastern half of the viewing area tomorrow, but a lot of convection, a lot of thunderstorms, spotty thunderstorms, again, in the same areas that saw it today, but more in coverage compared to what we saw today. Tracking those temperatures tomorrow in the Midland and Odessa area, mid to upper 90s, mostly sunny and less breezy. Those winds, a nice breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we're seeing the trend. We're seeing seasonally very warm conditions, mostly sunny skies. And again, we're seeing a lack of triple digit readings in the Midland and Odessa area over the next several days. Mid to upper 90s over Father's Day weekend, a little bit more in the way of clouds. Eventually, we're gonna be seeing those winds pick back up later this weekend and early next week with again temperatures pretty steady in the mid to upper 90s guys well, it seems like we're pretty on par for the time of year ryan absolutely average high 95 degrees so maybe a couple degrees above but hey certainly still warm enough to jump in the pool right mm -hmm. perfect for father's day everybody's gonna be outside celebrating grilling or just enjoying the outdoors absolutely go. exactly mm -hmm. thanks ryan of course